frugal money tips to survive any crisis. The dollar is crashing. The cost of living is increasing daily. Developing countries are displaced. China has yet to recover from COVID fully. And not to forget, the Russian-Ukraine war still looms. Unfortunately, we have no influence over a financial crisis. But you do have power over how you react to get ready for one. So stay tuned for some top frugal money tips on how you can survive any crisis. Number 10. Save an emergency fund. An emergency fund is that fund you have saved specially to assist you in getting by during times of financial difficulty. Saving for an emergency fund is essential in getting ready for any crisis, because when the economy starts to falter, people's jobs and sources of income may be in danger. Therefore, your emergency savings could provide you with a safety net to fall back on, so you can ride the wave and come out of the recession on your feet. Regardless of whether your hours have been reduced, you've lost your job, your business isn't earning any money, or you made some bad financial decisions. Typically, an emergency savings fund should be up to three to six months worth of your income if you can, so you won't have to resort to credit when times are tough and money is tight. This is because debts from difficult times are always higher than expected because they always linger longer than you would predict. So, even when people are able to get back on their feet a little after a crisis, they find themselves being held back by the money they borrowed, plus interest, during the hard times. Number 9. Value Audit Your Spending Over the years, our purchasing patterns have changed in response to various factors, from convenience to emotional triggers. Therefore, it's all too simple for your living expenses to increase when your lifestyle changes, even without the effect of inflation. An honest evaluation of your spending is a quick and simple strategy to reduce these costs and keep yourself in check. You might have signed up for costly regular charges or renewal contracts, have late credit card fees, or neglected to terminate free trials before being charged, all of which could result in significant financial loss. To evaluate all this spending, download about one or two months of your previous bank statements and meticulously review each bill. Identify the necessary bills, the luxuries you truly value, and the expenses you could live without. Be brutally honest in identifying all the areas where you can make savings without sacrificing your quality of life. Number 8. Reduce your council tax bills. During a crisis, if you believe you won't be able to pay your council tax because you're now on a lower salary or you're currently receiving benefits, then you may qualify for a council tax reduction, which could lower your bills by up to 100%. Where you live, your circumstances, your household income, and whether you have children or other dependents living with you will all affect how much reduction you receive. For instance, you may be eligible for a 25% council tax discount if you are the only adult residing in the home. If you're a caregiver or live alone, you may also be qualified for a discount. Even if you are not eligible for a reduction, you could ask if you might be able to take a vacation from payments for a month or two. Additionally, you should make sure you are paying the correct amount of council tax to ensure that you are not overpaying. So get in touch with your local authorities to learn what assistance they may offer since the available support differs from council to council. Number 7. Use Loyalty Programs Many people aren't comfortable using coupons, and it's understandable. However, there are many applications from retailers through which you can digitally clip coupons for groceries and redeem them at the register by entering your phone number or scanning a device. You could also opt to order online using services like Grubhub or Uber Eats, which offers discounts and cashback rewards. Also, try to shop more from stores that have loyalty programs. With its loyalty card, Walgreens drugstores allow consumers to collect points, which they can later exchange for savings. Customers who join loyalty programs at Starbucks, Panera Bread, and several other restaurants are also given discounts and free meals. Number 6. Shop for new insurance Your insurance is an area where you could cut costs to free up money for essential purchases in a crisis. First, make sure your insurance is set up correctly and compare free online quotes to find the greatest coverage at the lowest cost. 
Don't instantly accept the estimate presented by your current carrier because there is often really no benefit to sticking to the same insurer. Even if you filed a claim, car insurance renewal charges frequently go up each year, so it's critical to shop around for coverage to keep expenses down. You may be offered lower rates from new carriers due to changes in your age or circumstances, or in some cases, new insurers may enter a market and bring with them more affordable premiums. It can be practical to enlist the help of an insurance agent who works with several different suppliers and can help you compare rates. Number five, reduce your phone bills. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like the video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Just like with your insurance premiums, it's worthwhile to look at the best offers available from phone service providers. You may even call your current provider and let them know that you found a great deal with another provider. Doing this will put you in the best possible position to negotiate a great deal with your current provider. It's also worth checking with your home phone and internet provider to see if you might be able to transfer to an alternative, cheaper tariff to assist in decreasing your monthly payments, since millions of BT broadband and phone users have seen their bills increase this year. However, mobile phone tariffs can be very complex, making it difficult to know how to get the greatest bargain for your usage. Even if you aren't overpaying, you might likely be able to get a faster speed or more free calls for the same money by switching to a better package. Another helpful suggestion to consume less data is to always make sure your mobile device is connected to your home Wi-Fi. Also, putting your phone to sleep a few hours before you go to bed can allow you to charge it fully without having it consume power all night. Number 4. Review Your Monthly Subscriptions Another tip to save money during a financial crisis is to prioritize paying your rent or mortgage, utility bills, and food expenses while reducing your non-essential spending. A nice place to start trimming your non-essential spending is by screening your subscriptions, whether it is to a magazine, gym, TV streaming service, or anything else. Make sure you aren't paying for services you don't use or need by reviewing your finances every few months. Reviewing your monthly subscriptions will allow you to determine how frequently you use each one and whether it overlaps with other services. You can manually identify and cancel subscriptions by searching through your bank and credit card bills for reoccurring costs. Choose the streaming service, news website, or beauty subscription box that you use the most and cancel the others. Number 3. Reduce Food Bills didn't you know that every month, a family of four on average wastes up to 122 pounds of food? That is quite a sum of money to throw away figuratively, particularly in times of financial crisis. A way to tackle this is to make a weekly meal plan and utilize everything in your pantry to make sure your food lasts as long as it can. Next, you should be more mindful of your food leftovers since they can help you save time and money. Store any leftovers properly, and you can have them for lunch or dinner the following day. You could even set aside one day for leftovers each week to use up all the leftovers from the previous week by having them in a buffet style. Not only would you be saving goods and costs by doing this, but you'll be saving time you might have spent cooking as well. Don't throw away overripe fruit or vegetables either. For instance, soft avocados can be simply mashed and blended with a few basic ingredients such as red onion, garlic, and lemon or lime juice to make a delightful guacamole, while overripe bananas give a richer and sweeter banana taste when using in a recipe for banana bread. Additionally, you can combine all overripe fruits to make wholesome smoothies. Number 2. Sell Your Clutter Selling items you no longer need and consider as a clutter helps you in two ways. First, it helps minimize the amount of junk in your home. And second, you can make a tidy sum of money from it, which could help you out during a not-so-comfortable period financially. You can sell any unwanted items you have on a variety of online stores and apps. Or if you'd prefer, you can rent a space at your neighborhood car boot sale and sell your items there. You could also consider adapting the habit of selling or donating an item every time you buy anything new. It may help you change your perspective on consumerism and adopt more thoughtful spending habits, with the added benefit of assisting you in reducing clutter. Of course, the money made from the sale of the item would also help balance out your new expense. A different option would be to have a major purge at the beginning of each season. Then put the money from your sales in a fund to be utilized for new items you want this season. Number 1. Reduce Utility Costs 
Beyond rent and food, utility costs are one of the next major expenses people spend a lot of money on. So it might be worth looking into ways you can cut back on this even before a crisis. From saving on your light bills to cutting back majorly on how you use water, you may be able to save several hundred dollars yearly when the figures are added up you may significantly reduce your energy costs by switching to energy-efficient LED bulbs, draft-proofing your windows and doors, and reducing your thermostat by one or two degrees. Other easy energy-saving methods include reducing the number of dishwasher cycles you run each week and shaving off one minute of your daily shower time. So before the next economic crisis occurs, make sure you implement some or all of these methods to make your finances recession-proof because taking preventative actions can make a big difference. Now tell us, which of these frugal money tips do you think would be most resourceful in helping you get through a financial crisis? Is it having an emergency fund or reducing your council tax? Comment below.